I was telling Izzy when we came here a year and a half ago, if we're gonna get it, we have to get it now. And within a month, they, they were, were gone. Out. People hate that, some like it, some don't. It sounds like pretentious, it's not trying to be that. We looked at a lot of different RV properties. They just had this air about them that I wasn't crazy about, Izzy wasn't crazy about. We are at Mayaka River Motor Coach Resort in... Port Charlotte. Port Charlotte, Florida. <laughs> it's actually kind of cold I'm right now. I'm shivering a little bit. It's in it's the 50s. A, it's a cooler day today. But a couple days will be back in that high 70s. Anyway, we own a property here, a Lot 70, and we've owned it for over a year now. So in this video, we're gonna give you some pros and cons that we've found about owning our RV property. Let's get right into this. So we're gonna start with the pros and we have a couple, many pros. couple more pros than cons. So the first one is we always have a place to go no matter what happens. Now we know very clearly that a lot of friends, especially full timers during COVID, when COVID hit and campgrounds were shutting down and people were getting kicked out of places, they were scrambling last minute to find a place. So we know now that no matter what happens, if we close on our house and we don't have anywhere to go mm -hmm. or whatever, that we'll be able to have a place to come and be safe. And it's almost always warm here except for today but yeah it's a, it's a nice warm place to come number two is going to be it's just a beautiful resort again if you had followed our travels last year when we were searching different properties we did look at a lot of different places and this was the one that we really loved the most it's absolutely beautiful but it's very down to earth there's no not like a pretentious feel here well we, we walked in and Everybody we pass, good morning, oh, how are so you? Nice. It's great. So, so nice. So besides it being just a beautiful resort, we purchased down here too, because obviously as Izzy mentioned, the, the weather, right? It's a place for us to snowbird, which we will be doing in a few short years. Yeah, and when we say that it's cold, it's like 55 right now, so it's, it's not really that cold being at <laughs> home. It's like in the 20s. You know, it's funny though, right? What are we seeing? We're seeing it's that pretty funny. At 50, it's 50 degrees when we first came out. And I'm loving this. People, like I like this weather. People have on, you know, outside at stores, people have on winter hats and stuff. <laughs> it's pretty funny. And also, there are so many activities. Now, when we came last time, as he had mentioned, we were here off season. So now it's on season. And there's a, you know, a list a mile long of all different activities every day. You can see here they have a beautiful pool, gorgeous club house there's just so much yeah to gym do. pickleball Pickle they have a uh, kayak sack which is right on the river yoga that they do mm. quilt making all, all kind of stuff every day very quiet right now because it's, yeah. it's early but people are out and about riding their bikes it's very active mm -hmm. all right so what's the next thing what's the next pro well, this is a big one is it's property okay and property can be really good we can rent it out when we're not here mm -hmm. which we are doing 100 percent of the time right now um, and also since we we bought this about a year ago we were last here a year and a half ago the lots that have gone for sale and sold are selling at a much higher costs than they were when we, we were purchased. From. Right. Which is a good thing. Uh, also, being that it's a deeded property, you if you want to put a small house on mm -hmm. it, you can. There are some Which restrictions, see, of course, because yep. uh, it's an HOA, and we'll talk about that a little bit later. But yeah, it's, it's definitely a really good thing because it's an area of Florida that's super popular. The amount of construction going on in this area is, is mind blowing. Right, right. So the next thing that works out perfect for us, and it was kind of a reason why we bought, is you know it is an HOA and there's advantages and disadvantages, but one of the big advantages is that we don't have to maintain our lot. And there are some conditions on that. If you put a house on the lot, then you're responsible for the maintenance of your house, obviously and any changes you make. But currently our, the way our lot is set up, mm -hmm. the grass, the cleaning, taken you know, care of it, that's all taken care of it's through the hoa mm -hmm. so we can be many miles away which we are and we don't have to maintain it so the next big reason pro is the location it is extremely conveniently located we're right here in port charlotte so you have spring training mm -hmm. right here Stores are everywhere around. Tons of stores. I believe you're several miles from uh, the beaches of Inglewood, Punta Gorda. You are close to- Ooh, I like the way you say that, baby. Punta <laughs> you're, Gorda. You're close to Fort Myers <laughs> Airport. You're close to Tampa. We're about an right. hour or 20 from Tampa. So it's really everything. close to everything you need is right at your fingertips, yep. really. And the last pro, and I'm sure there's plenty more, but we're just gonna 
do a couple is the people. We got here about an hour ago and the amount of people that have stopped us and just talk and they're so kind and so welcoming. We looked at a lot of different RV properties when we were looking before we purchased here and there's a lot of them like they just have this air about them that I wasn't crazy about, Izzy wasn't crazy about. It's very down to earth and I think even on their website it says like the most down to earth RV resort or something. It really is. It's yeah, we're, nice we're, people. we're kind of blue collar people mm -hmm. and th this is how we are like we talk yeah. to people and that's we really enjoyed that kind yeah. of like you know people coming up to you talk to you very friendly yes So here are a couple of cons that we found and none of these are deal breakers, but it's a reality and we want to bring you what to expect. Like we said earlier, there is an HOA, both good and bad that comes with it. Obviously there's fees associated with HOAs. They never go down, mm -hmm. <laughs> although ours haven't gone up yet. They probably will in the future. With the HOA on top of the fees, of course there's restrictions on what you can do, right? So you can't like build a house however you want. It mm -hmm. has to be, you know, approved and it has to have a certain look to it. And there's both good and bad on that. Good that it keeps everything uniform and keeps everything looking nice. Right. Bad if you're somebody that likes to do your own thing, probably not for you. When we did our original video, I know a lot of people said it was just a deal breaker for them. They would never buy something an HOA. And we actually had said the same thing years ago. If but, it was our primary home, probably not. Right, but this kind of changed our tune a little bit. And again, it doesn't seem to be like this dictatorship that a lot of HOAs are. It just has a very kind of calm feeling. But yeah, if you're not an HOA type person, then this probably wouldn't be for you. The next con for some may be cost, especially now and over the last couple of years, RV lots have increased in price. And I remember I was telling Izzy when we came here a year and a half ago, I said, these are gonna go, if we're gonna get it, we have to get it now. And within a month, they, they were, were gone. Out. They were gone. We acted fast and we did get it. But the thing is, a lot of people will say, well, I can take that money that you would buy for a slab and go get a house for it absolutely. somewhere else. And you absolutely can. Kind of cost is, is gonna be a weighing factor for some people. Is it worth it for you? Right, yeah, if, you, if it's about like, you just wanna get a house and, and build your own thing, yeah, you probably could get it for less, but you're not gonna have all the activities and everything right. that go on in right. here in the community. In the community, that, That's yeah. kind of what yep. you're doing. Now, MJ said the lots were sold out. Yes, all the developer lots are sold out. There are a couple lots that are for sale by owner. Mm -hmm. We're gonna put the link to Mayaka Motor Coach Resort down below. If you go into where it says for sale, you'll see which lots are available. So a next con for many is, uh, this is a class A only motor coach resort and they do have a restriction of 10 years. Now that's kind of flexible depending mm -hmm on the condition of your RV. So if you have a very well-maintained coach that's over 10 years old, which many of them are out there, you contact, you send pictures, mm -hmm. they let you in. There's definitely coaches here that are older than 10 years old. Right. We know that we for saw, sure. We saw a nice but there's, there's no broken that. And it, it sounds like pretentious. It's not trying to be that. With that being said, the 10 year rule, one of the big reasons it, it is visual, right? People hate that. Some like it, some don't. But if you're coming to this resort, they want it to look good. Mm -hmm. They want everything to look good. And that's kind of one of the, I guess, cons for many. The other other thing is, if you don't have a Class A, you're not getting in. So no trailers, no fifth wheels, Bs, Cs, it's just not happening. So we'll have to keep our uh, Super C when we get it somewhere <laughs> else. And the last one, if you're the type of person that likes privacy and space and doesn't, Seclusion. doesn't like to be around other people, this is probably not going to be for you. You know, any of these resorts, the the spots are relatively close to each other and there's tons of activities and you know everybody kind of talks and is a great community feel so if you're like the state park leave me alone kind of hiding person this probably isn't going to be you for probably you probably won't even be watching this video true <laughs> true in the comments below let us know do you own it an rv resort have you ever owned and you didn't like it are you thinking about purchasing in an rv resort are you thinking about renting in an rv resort because us and along with everybody else a lot of people rent out their sites you know during the winter or summer or whatever so let us know that in the comments below and for myself and mj it's a journey of a lifetime and we'll see, see you, you on, on the, the road, road.